Hello traders, Ogan from Owls here and today we're going to go over which tickers are we watching for the week ending on October 29th. But before, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click that like button so we can keep pumping daily content for you. Cool. All right, let's get this started. As you know, we have a huge week ahead. We have all these earnings coming. As you see here, we have Facebook, we have UPS, General Electric, TM, Visa, Microsoft, Google, Alphabet. We have Quantum Space, Texas Instruments, Boeing 4, and keep going. We have a huge week ahead of us. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at SPY. So let's go on the one year, one day to have a big perspective. We had an all time highs back in the beginning of September. As you know, we had a small correction, took us back to the 425, 430 levels, and we hit a new all time high. However, we closed red on Friday. We hit an all time high on Friday, but we could not hold and we closed red. Not a big deal. As you see, only 0.10%, 47 cents is really nothing. Spice trading right now, it's at. Uh, 452.52 bid, 452.77 as, so 452.67, roughly down, roughly down for the futures trading. So it's not not a big deal. I don't expect a huge move tomorrow because all the earnings come in and people might be a little conservative, not too much selling, not too much buying, so we may see some consolidation. Some levels that I'm going to look and I'm going to along my time frame to a 10 day and 30 minutes. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye on these two here, 453.85 and 453.52 resistance. So that doesn't mean I'm going to only be looking for cows, especially this week, at least with the SPY and QQQ, I'm going to look at both. I'm going to look if we are going to reverse and play the downside or the upside if we're going down and we reverse back up or the breakouts. The problem is when there's so many, so much consolidation, the volume has to be there to play these breakouts. Otherwise, you have to buy a lot of time and kind of like get that buying power tight and it's just hard to play those breakouts. You're gonna have to buy a lot of time or you have to take maybe very small profits with a very tight stop because for example let me show you right 453.85 is a resistance why look at here it held 453.85 held so we can easily say here hey let's play calls above it and then you see 20 cents move and then you're like okay i'm not making enough to take my profits but then look what happens, it drops. Same here, 452.22 support, it broke. 20 cents move, not enough volume. Look at the volume dead. And you didn't get that break. So I want the 15 minute chart to close above. Until I don't see, if I feel risky, I can try the five minutes, but I want to see at least a 15 minutes. See, we never close a 15 minute chart above this or above this level and below this level on the other part. So this is not a valid breakout. Hence, I'm going to look for both. If we hit 453.85, first thing I'm going to look is at the volume. Second thing, I'm going to look at the one minute chart and I'm going to make sure how is the trend. Do I start see some red candles that shows me a pullback or do they look strong? Okay, if it looks strong, I'm going to keep an eye on that breakout, but I want the five minute and the 15 minutes to actually break it. I don't want the one minute to give me one candle and then cut me right away. So that's why I'm going to be looking for both and I'm going to be very careful before I enter. Something that I like here, I like this 451.9 support. We did break it, but this was a big, big two million drop. However, we think 30 minutes we reclaim it here so you see broke it and honestly this is a good play if you have time and you hit 451.9 to 451.22 that's about 
25% profit on same day expiration. So it is a good play. But this 451.9, unless we see a lot of selling with a lot of volume, I think this one is going to hold. And if it doesn't hold, we can see some more, some downside on this. So bottom line on SPY, 453.52, 453.85 area. I'm going to look for either a reverse or a breakout. Let's see, depending on the volume tomorrow. And the 451.9, I personally want to see a reverse on the upside, but it's not what I want, right? So I, I'm also going to keep an eye on the breakout for the downtrend. Let's look at QQQ. QQQ hasn't been in a new all-time highs. It has not recovered all the losses. As you can see, 382.78, and we hit roughly almost 378. So it's not far, but it didn't get there. Part of the reason is why Apple and Microsoft, who are the biggest caps, they have been kind of consolidating. They recover, but they are not at the level that are supposed to be. Like you see Apple hasn't reclaimed that 150 level. He's still below 150. Microsoft, on the other hand, pulled a little bit. But then you see Amazon drop a lot, right? It's way is far, far from the all time highs. You see Google also drop. Um, right now in a four hour chart, you see Facebook, Facebook too, Facebook drop a lot. So that's why QQQ is, hasn't recovered as good as buy. But I mean, this week is going to be very important with all the earnings that we have. We have the three, the three biggest, which is Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. They are reporting earnings and of course, Google too. So for QQQ, this is what I see. So a 10 day, 30 minute chart. Support area here. Let's draw this one, 373.22. We're gonna keep an eye on this support. Also, we're going to keep an eye on the 373.46. So this area, between 373.46 and 373.22, we're either gonna look for a break on the downside or for a reverse on the upside. That's, so keep an eye on those. For the upside, I like to see the 375.01, 375.01 or 374.51. This area here, that's where I'm going to keep an eye for resistance. I think if, if we can see the volume, maybe not tomorrow, but this week, we should retest the 376, 377 area. It should, it should, it should be a thing. But again, with all the earnings coming. It's it's going to be kind of it can it could go either way it, it it really could go either way that's how earnings plays and if Apple drops and Microsoft drops QQQ is going to drop Tesla enough is not Tesla I think it's like 2.73 percent of QQQ so a lot of people say oh Tesla is going up QQQ must go up no Tesla is it's a big holder it's in the top 10 but it's only like 2.73 2 percent i don't have the exact number while apple is over 10 percent so apple it's important microsoft i think is four or five percent too so those are the ones that you have to keep an eye obviously it's good if tesla goes up and you have google and facebook and netflix then yeah okay this could help qqq even if apple and microsoft are kind of consolidating but don't think because tesla is going up qqq must go up Do, you shouldn't think like that because that's a very common mistake. It's not that heavy on QQQ or SPY or the S&P 500. Tesla has like two, also less than 3% on SPY and the S&P. All right, so QQQ, 374.51, 374.79, and 375.01 area. Keep an eye on these ones here. I think if we break 374.51, if we break here with volume, this could be good for calls. Otherwise, keep an eye on the reverse. Very important support at 373.22, okay? All right. Well, we talk about Amazon, right? Let's check it out. Holy wow. Okay. 3331. 3331.9 support. We are below that. 
we went below that, but we closed up. So keep an eye on this support. Otherwise, if we continue this trend, we could see the, the 3314 or even below 3300. So keep an eye on this one. Like, I wouldn't say we are f like, we cannot recover that we're gonna go below 3300. But as right now, this chart doesn't look very good. Doesn't mean anything. It's just a matter of, hey, how are we gonna open today? Are we going to hold this level? Oh, we're holding it? Okay, good. A lot of people are expecting an earnings run up, which I mean, I would, I, I like to see more than just an earnings run up. I want to see a chart telling me, yeah, you should get in because if it's uh, if it would be that easy, like you know, yeah, let's all play Amazon earnings for knob and we're gonna make a lot of money for no skill. So sometimes you get lucky like that, but I would keep an eye on these levels here. I think for calls, thirty three sixty point oh two is like it's a safe spot, or maybe play the bounce here, but make sure you keep an eye on if you're not in calls. And you want to get in and you're close to this area, be very careful. We do have a resistance here. It's not the biggest resistance, but it should not be ignored because it is a resistance. Like what happened here and what happened here could happen again. So now I show you a smaller chart. So if you're trying to scalp this or they, you see, now it's the same level, but looks different. So now you can see even more confirmation on this resistance. And then we have another one here. We can draw 3366. So yeah, like if this if it holds this level, this 3330.02. So let's just do 3330. I can see a bounce. Just keep an eye on this one. If you're greedy or anything, you understand. You can have this surprise target. Oh, my cat. Yeah, he's right there with us. Likes the stock a lot. That cat. He loves the stocks. He's full bull, full bull cat. All right, so we look at Amazon, right? We have 3330.02 support. We're gonna keep an eye on that. Otherwise, we can retest these levels here. Let me pull my chart. So we could retest 3314, 3298. Who knows? Well, we also, with earnings this week, it's also like making guesses is a little harder. So you have to keep an eye on the levels and that close eyes on the price action when those levels hit so now let's do tesla tesla is being strong tesla does not care about the market it's at all-time highs obviously the guys that are used to see tesla at 1800 remember it's split <laughs> so yeah with before the split it was a 901.74 all-time high so it's currently it close above the all-time high at 15 points 1.75 percent it hit 910 so this one is gonna be tricky guys i'm not going to lie to you like i think tesla if you have the opportunity to do verticals like a vertical spread you could be safer because the thing plain breakouts here can be a trap because it could drop two, three, four, five dollars, which is going to hurt your premium, but it can make it back easily. So it's a matter of like how comfortable you are holding red. If you can buy time for these contracts, you can buy time and you can do the debit spreads strategy, that would be better. All right, let's look at Tesla. So we have a Tesla that you have to play by the all time high. I did run a Fibonacci here and it shows me 921.49, you can have that as a, as a first price, price target, sorry. Otherwise, you have a big wide band here at 903.23 and 938. So those are going to be your support levels, okay? If you're in calls, if you're long and you see it dropping, keep an eye on these two because they are brand new levels too. So we have to retest them and retest them to make sure they're more reliable. So again, for Tesla, when you're in all-time highs, you're in no man's land. 
All these levels are very, very new. Be very, very careful because you can get shaken pretty quick and you look one hour later after you took a massive loss that it's back and you will be profitable. Have a plan. Don't just enter Tesla because it's a very volatile. It's in no man's land and it's also expensive. It's not cheap. So I think vertical spreads with time by maybe a few months out or at least six weeks that will be a safer, less rigged strategy. If you want to learn about vertical spreads, comment on this video and we will be happy to teach you, okay? It's not that hard and it's an amazing strategy for people that like swing trading. Okay, so now we know what we want in Tesla, what we're watching on Tesla. Let's do Nvidia. We had a 40% play on Nvidia. And look at this, I run a Fibonacci and it held right there so for nvidia I'm going to be looking how we open tomorrow sure keep an eye here we have a 50 ema and we have a support at 226.75 so definitely keep an eye on this support some water so keep an eye on this support here could be a potential bounce. Otherwise, you're gonna have to keep an eye on 225.62. For calls, I like 228.72. But again, don't make sure you're getting, because this is, what, this is the problem with the volume. Like you see here, yeah, it broke, but look at the volume. It's not as good, it's barely at average. You, don't, you wanna see something like this, way above average, at least twice. When you see it here, it's gonna be hard. If the volume doesn't pick up, those breakout plays are harder because you get here, you see, let's say, oh yeah, it broke my level. By the time you get in, it's at 222, 228.91. And you got a what? 15 cent, that's not gonna make it for you. Keep an eye on this one too, 229.30, looks very strong. So I have a rule. When the market's slow and volume's low, I tend to play reversals more than breakouts because of the volume. Like if those breakouts, they need volume. If you don't have the volume, you're not gonna make it. Like unless you know you're in the position and all of a sudden volume picks up. Because contracts, options, contracts, they decay too, especially if you have the same week expiration. So you don't wanna get into that decay. When you're playing breakouts, if you want to take the risk, what I tell my people, hey, just have a tight stop. And you get stop 10%, 15%, and otherwise, just move on and skip it. Try to look at the other side. Don't don't just, because it hits one level, don't just go like, oh, I'm going to get calls because it's at this level. So look at, well, how is it, are we seeing any price action on the reverse too? Like, is it reversing? So that's NVIDIA. One last one that I want to do is Facebook. Okay, so let's do the, sorry, NVIDIA real quick, just to make sure we understand here. We have 228.22 resistance, 229.3, Fibonacci, 231.2, 231.3 resistance. So keep an eye on this three. For support, keep an eye on these two here. 225.62, 225.75. And if you want, this one looks good as well. 224.75. So write those downs, go back, and if you have to, because it's, it's worth it. As you can see, these levels always have to be retested. It's not a 100% guarantee, but at least you know what you're looking at. And you don't have only one resistance, you have two and three, so you understand, like, okay, now what's next? So this is what's going to help you. Understand these levels, play with the volume, don't under the EMAs and the BWAP. I only have the middle BWAP, but I love this band. And also Fibonacci, guys. I can emphasize, like, if you learn how to do this, boys, I never, I only use the 100% on three drawing points. As you can see here, a, low, a high and a low to get resistance without too much noise, pretty clean. I only keep in these two ratios for the three data points. So if you also want to learn how to All right, we are back. And the last one, it's going to be Facebook. Facebook had a big drop and they also have earnings. 
So on Facebook, what we need to keep an eye is 321.05 support because he did held. He held Friday all day. So keep an eye on this level. Also for resistance, I have 327.14. Facebook has earnings tomorrow, Monday. So if you're planning on holding this overnight, you better be all in. Don't, don't go too deep. Don't risk something that you cannot afford to lose because you know how earnings work. They can make you a lot, but they can lose everything for you. So keep an eye on 321.05 support. If we go below the 317.21 area and also keep an eye on this resistance. You see, we broke it and we climb a little bit. So this could be a great if you have same with contracts. This is easily a 50, 70 percent play here. So keep an eye on those. Well, and that's all I got for tonight. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, ask, make a comment. Don't forget, subscribe and like if you want us to keep pumping this for you. And if you are more interested, we have a Discord community. It's a, you can try it for free, absolutely free, half hour alerts. I had personally one of my best weeks. 92% I hit. 12 alerts hit 11. You can get those absolutely for free for a whole week. And if you don't fall in with us, hey, you keep the money at no commitment and no commitment and no offense. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy trading this week. Be